Hello. Welcome to Mindfully Crochet. My name is Mara. Today I'm going to be opening a few mail items and packages that I received and um, I will just explain them as I go along and then if the video isn't too long I will add kind of my Friday finishers into this a little bit early. Uh, the first item that I'm opening up is from Kelly Manier and I um, won an item from her I believe from Chris's channel and um, unfortunately Kelly had a few things that happened in her life um, including the loss of her mom and so um, this was actually from quite a while ago but anyway so I'm just opening this now and let's see in here we've got a couple of stickers this one says smile and look it's right over my smile okay <laughs> and this one says today is going to be a great day and it's got a picture of the sun very cute okay. also in here is a Michael's gift card and so I will be um, super excited to use that dear Mara I'm really happy you won I'm sorry it took so long your yarn is on the way to big hugs love Cal okay supposed to be but this says thank you to an A plus teacher and I actually do work at a school so this is kind of cute all right and let's see so then I also have this package here um, and it doesn't really have anything except my name on it Sorry for the noise. Right, so this is the other part of that um, prize from Kelly. It says, enjoy your gift from Kelly Manier. This is from Amazon. I'm gonna use some scissors in the hope of this not being too loud. Oh wow, pretty. This is really, really pretty. So this is a Lion Brand shawl in a ball. 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fiber. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Let me just look and see if I can find the color. 5.3 ounces, 481 yards. This is a medium number four. The care instructions say machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. And it's called Soothing Blue. gorgeous it's a really pretty color thank you so much Kelly it's really really pretty and the shawl in here I imagine this is probably knit but let me check because if it is crochet that's a really nice pattern I'm trying to see if the pattern is on the inside oh it is Great. Well, maybe not. Thank you for choosing Lion Brand. Follow us. And then it's in multiple languages. I think. 
think I just have to go to lionbrand.com. It says over 7,000 free patterns. And on the label, it also, it just says one ball makes a shawl. Anyway, here is the picture of it. I'm gonna have to go and look that up because I think that is so pretty. Okay. All right. I uh, just got back from a four day trip to California and I left Friday afternoon and drove down into the Sacramento area where I spent a couple days with my aunt and my cousin. And then um, on Sunday, my brother met up with me and we drove down to um, the San Luis Obispo area and spent a couple days with our cousin. And then um, on Tuesday, drove all the way back. So it was a kind of a long drive, but um, but it was really worth it. We had a great time seeing each other and um, and then I came back and had these lovely packages. All right, this other package I believe is from Thrifts and a couple weeks ago, um, I think on her members live, or no, not a members live, but on her um, Thursday live, I could be wrong. Um, she dyed up some yarn, which I ended up purchasing. But let's see. I partly opened the package just so it would be easy. Oh, I think this is um, the May subscription box. All right, so this is Pink Lemonade, and it is a 100% extra fine, I can't tell if that's 19.5 micron or 10.5 micron, uh, Superwash Merino, so it's 100 grams, 437 yards of a fingering weight. This is so pretty pink and orange and yellow. It is gorgeous. Her yarns are full spectrum yarns. And I think this is the third subscription box that I have purchased from her. I bought Dee's Lagoon and that was March. And then I got the April subscription box. And now this one is May. And so I got two of those. It's so pretty and look, I mean, they are like almost identical. The yellow and the pink and the orange and back to pink. So pretty. And this superwash merino, it is, it is luscious soft. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just want to um, like wind it up into a couple of balls and make something with it. I need to figure that out. And then there is a cute little um, stitch marker and let me see if I can show it kind of closer up. It's it's like a little cup with a straw, pink lemonade. So there's like lemonade and the pink is on the bottom and then the straw coming out of the cup. It's a super cute stitch marker. Anyway, I love it. I love those subscription boxes. And please always remember to check out Thris. Um, she can be found on Facebook, Full Spectrum Yarn. And then of course she is on YouTube as Thris in Stitches. And I know I am like a teeny tiny channel. So most of you probably know who she is already. All right. And then like I was telling you before, a couple weeks ago, she had a... Um, a live dye where she dyed up some yarn and um, it was like five um, blanks and so they are, are like a pre-knitted blank that she dyed let me see one two three okay maybe it was three blanks no 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 I'm sorry okay so there's one 
And again, these are knitted blanks and she dyed them in this form. So purple down to pink. The name of this colorway is Fiddleberry because as you guys know, Thris is known as the fiddler and she just keeps dying, 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 even though everybody is yelling at her to stop, stop, stop. <laughs> That's the second one. And then there is this one, which is a lot of the blues. This is really gorgeous. There's two of them here. They're about the same. So there's some purple up here at the top and then it goes down into a really pretty blue. These are super long. I'm gonna need some instruction since these are in a knitted blank and I'm not sure how you get it out of this form and, 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 and to cake it up. Maybe all I have to do is just put it onto my yarn ball winder, but maybe some of you could help me and let me know. Okay, so this I guess is a total of six. There was two, four, and then these are the remaining two. There's a really deep purple up here and then it's a pretty pink, deep, deep pink. Gorgeous, these are so gorgeous, I love them. And this is so soft, really, really soft. Okay, I'm gonna hold those all up together to show you. So pretty. Ah, I just love all those colors together. And I remember, I have to say, I was one of the ones telling Thris, stop, stop, no more color, <laughs> don't add any more. And she kept adding and adding. And I just think they came out beautifully. And um, let me smell them just smells fresh. It doesn't actually smell like anything. Like it doesn't smell like vinegar. It doesn't smell. <laughs> it just is a nice soft, um, clean smell. <laughs> okay. Now, as far as my uh, like works in progress or my finished objects, um, this week I've just been working a little bit here and there on my scrap blanket, and I'll show you where I am so far on that. It's about 18 inches, starts out red, gray, then some multicolor, back to gray, darker gray, and then um, back to a multicolor. And I'm just using a variety of acrylic yarns that I had left over from a couple of projects. And um, the current ball that I'm on is a um, Red Heart Super Saver, and it's like a neon stripes color, I think. This is what it looks like on this side, and then it looks like that on this side. So I'm gonna finish this one off, and then I'm gonna do another gray, and I'm just gonna see how far I can actually go, because I'm not sure how much scrap yarn I have, but I'm gonna do my best to put colors and gray and see how that goes. So this is gonna be a work in progress, I think, for a little while. I may have to put this one aside and um, because I want to do a couple of shawls. Uh, it's getting to be the end of the school year and there are some staff that are retiring or some people that are moving on. And so I'm hoping that I might be able to make some gifts for them. Um, so I may have to put some of this blanket on hold. All right, over this week also, and it didn't take me very long, 
I worked on a sleeve bolero for my daughter. And now because this is black, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but um, my daughter is a college student. Uh, this is a pretty simple double crochet, chain three mesh stitch. This is the opening where you put it over your head. Let's see if I can put it on. And then you put your arm in one sleeve and then the other sleeve. For this project, if I can get myself into it, it is small. <laughs> Um, I just used a cotton yarn. It is a Sugar Will cotton solid. Got it on Hobby Lobby clearance for $1.74. And there's still a whole lot left. I probably used a little more than half of this ball to complete this project. And, um, and so the whole ball has about 335 yards of 100% cotton, and this is a three weight light. Um, and I, I think I used a little more than half of it, so probably less than 200 yards. And this is something that you would wear over the top of a, like a bikini or a, a tank top. I'm just wearing like a solid black shirt, so it's a little bit hard to see, but it comes across here and then the sleeves go out. My daughter's arms are a little bit longer than mine. And ironically, <laughs> I used to tease her and call her monkey arms, but only because I am vertically challenged and she could easily reach up to a shelf to bring down things that I need. But anyway, I haven't finished off the sleeves yet, so that's what you see dangling, is I wanted to leave a little bit of yarn in case I needed to make it a little bit longer, and I didn't detach this one. So this is effectively done. I just need to make sure that I made it long enough for her, the sleeves long enough for her, and, um, and then I will just finish it off and weave in the ends. But that is essentially the only project that I got the majority of the way done this week as I traveled and um, worked and things like that. So I did almost forget that I completed the summer top that I was making for my daughter over Mother's Day weekend. She did come home and I was able to get the button sewn on and make some adjustments so that it fit her. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures of that here. It turned out really great. I'm so happy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some pictures, not only of her, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some pictures of me <laughs> wearing the top before I was able to adjust it for her. And I hope you enjoy those. That was one more um, item that I did kind of get finished uh, this week, uh, or this video kind of spans um, over about a two-week period, not quite, so um, I did get a couple items finished during that time. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing, and remember, if you have ideas or if you know how, I am supposed to wind up those blanks that I got in the Fiddleberry color from Thris. Please Put that in the comments below or send me an email. My email can be found in my about page, but essentially it is mindfully crocheted all together at gmail.com. Um, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post additional content. But thank you so much for watching as always. Thank you to Kelly, thank you to Thris, and thank you all for watching. Have a great day, take care, and be kind.